Hello and welcome to the United Stand. Mark Goldbridge here. Michael Carrick has announced a big announcement on Instagram in relation to his Manchester United future. Um, he said it's a privilege, more or less, to play for Manchester United over the last, uh, what is essentially over just over a decade. And um, a big announcement is incoming. He's filming it at the moment with the club or has been filming it today. Um... I would, if you're asking me what I think, I think it's probably going to be retirement. We've been talking about Michael Carrick's replacement, haven't we, for quite a while now, and uh, we've sort of um, been speculating what that might be. Um, I don't think you go on Instagram if you're someone of Michael Carrick's class and say um, there's a big announcement incoming if it's just going to be a year contract extension. Uh, we already know about the testimonial, so would that be the big in? Um, announcement anyway i mean mufc 20 times there is saying clickbait um it's on his instagram mate and it sort of hints you know maybe it is a testimonial but it's uh, i think if, if it's retirement it's sad it's sad and i'd be interesting to see what a lot of people would think about that but um manchester united is about evolution i always say say that it's not revolution and we should be um, not embracing it, but we will go on. That's what the club does if someone like Michael Carrick decides to retire. Should he retire? I think he he basically turned our season around when he actually got his chance in the first team in November. We went on that great run. Um, I don't think he's been playing too badly lately and he's out. he's been taken out of the team. Um, I've always felt that Mourinho probably doesn't like that sort of player anchoring his midfielder. I think he wants a bit more athleticism, which is why he's liked to use Herrera there. Um, so, I mean, Carrick should be playing week in, week out. He was totally abused by England. Uh, I think England would have been far more successful if they'd used him, but that's a different story. Uh, he's not been abused by Manchester United. He's been a fantastic servant at Manchester United. And if he feels that, why would he want to go anywhere else? There is, you know, As Cantona said, when you go to Manchester United, it's the pinnacle of football. Anywhere you go from there is down. And at 35, why would Michael Carrick go and want to play? I mean, he could go to America, to be fair. Um, maybe he will. But uh, in relation to Premier League clubs, why would he bother? I, I still think he could do a job for Manchester United. I just don't think Mourinho really fancies him. Um, and I think he would be... Um, it's just I don't obviously don't know Michael Carrick personally, but if he is thinking about retirement, it wouldn't surprise me because I think he's just got that class. Um, always say it, people say it. If, if you don't understand what Michael, how good Michael Carrick is, you don't really understand football. And I think he's he's an absolute uh, genius as a footballer. Um, runs games, uh, positional sense uh, second to none. And I just would hope that if he is going to retire, that he's going to stay on at the club and um, have an, have some involvement because he's. I mean, I don't know whether people are aware of this. It's common sense. But Wayne Rooney and Michael Carrick are the senior figures in the Manchester United uh, dressing room and they're looked up to, especially by the young players. So it's a massive influence to lose. Um, and if Carrick's decided that's the end of it, I don't know. I just don't know whether it is. I don't know whether it is. Um, I mean, I'm only, I'm only reacting to this live because it's it's come out quite recently on his Instagram post. Just for those of you joining us late, he's put out an Instagram post, Michael Carrick, saying a big announcement coming in, uh, soon. He's filming it and it's been a privilege to play for Manchester United. It may well be the testimonial, but we knew about that at the weekend. So why why build us up for that? I suppose it's, it's modern football. He could be building us up to that. But I still think it poses that question of, I don't see Michael Carrick having a future at Manchester United next season. I don't. I think uh, he's made it quite clear, Mourinho, that Carrick did kickstart our season. We went on a great run, but you know he didn't play, play particularly bad against Liverpool. He was the one he was sacrificed. And I think Mourinho, it's his right, probably doesn't want somebody of that age and that mobility and that style anchoring his midfield. So... Maybe he's going to announce that he's off somewhere else. Maybe it's not retirement. Maybe it's I'm leaving Manchester United in the summer because I can go off. To, I don't think it'll be total retirement, actually. I don't know, I don't know about you lot. I don't think it'll be total retirement. I think it will be... Um, I think it will probably be retirement for Manchester United, maybe America, but we'll see. Um, he must have deleted it. Can't find nothing. Um, I saw it on Instagram and I've seen the pictures of it. I hope it's... Uh, not been deleted. Um, it's not on Twitter anyway. It's on uh, Instagram from what we've, uh, from what I've seen. Um, Mark, any comments on Tony Evans talking nonsense about United on Football Writer Podcast? Got no idea about it. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I think it was imminent with Carrick anyway um, that something like that might happen. Um, and as uh, Ronak says, Michael Carrick will always be loved at United. We knew that he's not been offered the year contract yet, which is not necessarily um, um, a major thing. But we knew this was going to have to be resolved at some point in the summer. Um, and I think 
if it is retirement or it is going off to somewhere else, then I'd be really sad about it because I think he's a fantastic player, as you know, if you've been watching the United Stand, absolutely love Michael Carrick. But I think a lot of people have started to feel that maybe it is the end and it is time to uh, um, to move on. Um, it is on Instagram. A lot of people hadn't found it, but it is on there. Um, Sam Ingram's on about Marcus Rashford stalling on a new deal. It's pretty obvious. He signed a new deal last summer. I mean, this is the mirror again. I mean, people say don't buy the Sun. Don't buy the bloody mirror. Don't click on anything they put up because it's all anti-United. We've had Martial's leaving. We've had Mkhitaryan's leaving. We've had Luke Shaw's leaving. We've now had Rashford wants to leave. They just want to get people to click their rubbish stories because they that's what that's what the media, the old broadsheets have become. They're losing so much um, credibility that now they just don't bother to have any and they just make stuff up. Martial's apparently going to Spurs this morning, according to the Mirror. I mean, it's just bloody ridiculous. So, no, Rashford signed a new contract last summer. Um, he's, one of, he's our most exciting youth player we've had in about 20 years. Um, he's not going to be leaving Manchester United at all. So, uh, um they do need those clicks, Stan Lee. Um, he agreed a deal last summer till 2020, uh, so it's not uh, Rashford's not going anywhere. But back to Carrick. Obviously, a lot of people know I like him. Uh, we all like him, and it will be sad. It will be the end of an era. Um, he is going to get a testimonial. It could be about that, but Michael Carrick coming out and saying there's a big announcement coming. Carrick's better than that. He's not a clickbait merchant. He's not. Um, he's not somebody who's you know in front of the camera that much. So for, I think for him to be. Uh, luring us all in with a bit of publicity. It doesn't strike me as, as Michael Carrick. I think he's probably taken his time to think it through. Spoken to people like Rooney, who's his good friend, Mourinho about the future. I'm sure Mourinho's probably said, you've been a fantastic servant to this club, but I'm going to use you sparingly in the future. Um, then it's a big it's a big step for someone. I think Rooney's got the same thing to do because I think both Carrick and Rooney are fantastic professionals, been brilliant for Manchester United. And do they want to just sit in the background on the bench when they've still got loads to offer? I don't blame it. Um, Nathan Cleverly says he's announcing his retirement 100%. Um, we'll pick up on this at half past eight on the um, on the live preview show. Apparently, I'm going to be wearing a Fellaini wig, but I just wanted to go live raw and uh, give it to you because uh, Carrick's somebody that this channel especially has always backed and loved. And, uh, you know, if there's an announcement about him, it's as big as anything. Um, and, uh, yeah, so very, very sad if it's true. But it is... Football, everything comes to an end. I've been saying this. I'm not a Rooney hater. People don't understand it. He's on the he's on the decline, um, and he's just not good enough for our first team anymore. And I think if you are Rooney, then you probably you know he still can do a job for somebody just like Carrick. But if it's not Manchester United, why would you uh, why would you hang about? Um, I'm not watching the Barcelona game. No, I'm doing the uh, preview at half past eight because the United stand comes before Barcelona. We're a Manchester United fan channel. If you want to watch Barcelona and you want to miss me in a Fellaini wig and you want to watch it after the game, that's up to you. But we'll be live at half past eight and we'll no doubt um, be talking about it. Adam G says he's changing sponsorship from a Nike to Adidas. Um, I think it's retirement. That's what I'm going with. And I think if it is, um, he deserves a testimonial and uh, he's been a fantastic servant and we wouldn't have won, we would not have won half of what we've won if Michael Carrick hadn't been here for the last 10 years. And I'd argue that with anybody. He's an absolute legend of Manchester United, a superb player. And if you understand football, you need these players. I mean, somebody messaged me today on, on one of the other YouTube videos and said, you're talking nonsense about Carrick in England because... Uh, if we'd have had Gerrard at Manchester United instead of Carrick, we'd have won a hell of a lot more. I don't think people understand tactics. You don't just put your... This is what England did under Ericsson. You don't just put your best 11 players out. You've got to have players for positions. In England did it. They put Skulls on the left wing, Beckham on the right wing, Lampard and Gerrard in the midfield. Straight away, it's obvious to anyone with a football brain that that doesn't work. You've got to have somebody to hold the midfield. And they didn't do it with Carrick. And at Manchester United, we did. We put Carrick in to hold the midfield. You had Skulls having the freedom, and it worked. Skulls and Gerrard Jar wouldn't work because they're both offensive players. We'd get overrun. Carrick has been absolutely superb in that role. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Drop us a like. Give us your thoughts below. Some of you might not think it is retirement. Some of you might think it's something else. But I think it will be. It's a big announcement. And... Uh, um, We'll see what happens. Thanks everyone for watching and um, I'll speak to you all at half past eight on the live preview. Get commenting below.